every person he's stitched has had to turn off their comments. Perhaps it's because most of them are women and they're now getting death threats. Because although Joey Swole's content is branded to be um, making a safe space for both men and women in the gym, I've noticed that he stitches a lot of women who are feeling threatened by men looking at them in the gym. I tried making a video about this earlier, but the Joey Swole fandom fucking attacked me and it was really scary. But as someone with PTSD and someone who's been lifting since 16 and I'm 21 now, um, sometimes a man just looking at you for a second too long feels a little threatening. And I'm not saying that's reason for you to go post it online and be like, oh my God, look at this creeper. But also if that video does make it online, it's not appropriate to send that woman death threats because you felt like she was ruining that man's reputation. Is it just me or has culture as a whole just went down into the shitter? Like, don't get me wrong, I think that constructive bullying is a real thing and is necessary in society. And that's the one part in this video where I kind of agree with her is it's not necessary to send death threats to people just because they did something really messed up. Realistically, you should be saving those death threats for our politicians who are giving all of our money away to other countries while we have a homelessness and hunger problem. But I digress. One of the things that does irritate me, though, is she states she has PTSD and every now and then when a man looks at her for a little too long, it makes her feel uncomfortable. Just because you have a fear due to experiences you may have had or may not have had and just bought into the fear mongering that is caused by social media and the media in general does not mean that your fear needs to be validated by everybody else. And that fear does not give you a right to treat other people like dirt. And it does not give you a right to assume that a certain gender is going to be treating you poorly. Like, I have that fear too. I have been treated horribly in some of the relationships I've had in the past. But I don't take that fear as a right to just start treating everybody of the opposite sex like they suck. What Joey Swole is doing with his gym videos is a good thing. He is showing the toxicity that occurs in public. What his followers choose to do with that is on his followers, not on him. And their reactions may or may not be justified. So the basic point of this entire message is everybody needs to calm down a little bit and smell the roses. The internet has enabled people to make statements that they would not say to your face. And uh, it's unfortunate because they're getting very bold with those statements. And do they actually mean what they say? I'd say 99% of the time they don't because I've called people out for making death threats against me before. Like, I'm not hard to find. People need to slow down and remember that human life is valuable and just because somebody says something or does something really dumb does not mean that their life loses its value because of that. We live in a world that is so divided now to where men and women can't get along, people with different political views can't get along, people with different sexuality can't get along, people who drive certain cars can't get along with other people who drive something different. It's, it's getting really ridiculous. Like, y'all need to chill out and remember every single human life matters and that should be number one in our heads the only human lives that don't matter are for child you know what's people who like to uh, do grapes and for the people who like to unalive other people just for the thrill of it those are the lives that don't matter everybody else does and you know i'd like to say that most politicians probably fall under the uh, don't matter spectrum but again i digress Take some time, relax, stop viewing things so extreme. Try to remember that life is actually beautiful and the people around us are beautiful. We all have our flaws, but we're not all just these evil people. I hope this message of encouragement reaches the right audience. Please hit the follow button, share this video. Let's try to change the community a little bit.